All right, guys, so I've had a lot of guys ask me about this file jig I'm using. And uh, for those of you who don't know, it's called the Grandberg file a joint And you could get it off of Northern Tool and other sites. I don't really want to promote anything because they're not paying me. But you can find it for about $28 to $35, depending on where you are and shipping cost. Now, <clears throat> this isn't the uh, end-all, be-all sharpener, that's for sure. Um, what I recommend it for is, uh, for those of you who are looking to try and get a refined angle a little bit better than using your hand, um, you don't get that side-to-side -side movement or that up-and-down movement on your angle, so you're pretty much true to whatever you set it at. Um, but a lot of guys, you know, they're, they're not going to tell you the angles that they run at or what kind of files they use and all that, like it's some big secret. Um, but basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your, your chain box and look at the back of it. And it'll tell you um, on the back, you know, that it's somewhat of like a 30 degree angle with a 5 degree slope or a 10 degree slope or something like that. So depending on the chain that you're using, um, you know, it's going to have different angles. And then of course the wood that you're cutting in too, because some people cut softwood, some people cut hardwood, and it all cuts different. So the angles are really going to be set for whatever your preference is but uh, this definitely helps make it true. Now I've had this for well over a year and it's worn out the pins right here on the side. You can see um, if I push on this side here, it starts to come out on the other side. So it wiggles around a little bit and um, because I've put so much weight on it, it's got a lot of play back and forth. I gotta tighten it up with my pliers. Um, but you can see on here that you can set your angles to whatever you like. And um, right now I, I got it set at what the, the chain recommends, which is a 30 degree angle. My slope, I don't really I don't really go with what they recommend. Because the LG chain says 10 degrees and I, I'd be in my tie strap with this, this size file that I use. If I was doing a 10 degree slope, I'd be eating away at my chain. And then that makes it dangerous and what happens is it'll, it'll snap and pop back in your face. So see if I could try and set this camera up and give you a little idea of just a real quick run through. My chain's really loose right now so it's going to make a big difference. But what I do to just touch her up when she needs to sharpen it. I'm going to pause this real quick and set up the right, camera. Guys, so as you can see I got it set up on the bar here for the left side. And you're just going to pull your chain forward and get it set up to the angle that you want. Make sure that your file's setting in there. Um, as deep as you want. This knob on the back here, you'll see. I'll bring it in a little closer. That adjusts your up and down, um, how your depth gauge on how far into the, the tooth you want to go. So you want to adjust it accordingly too. <clears throat> and you're gonna see that in some of my previous filing videos, like my hand filing video, I said that you don't need to go too many swipes, but that was because when I hand file, I push a lot harder and the, the file kind of free flows through it. With this, it's got a, a depth gauge, so it's only gonna take off so much every swipe. I don't push on it, I don't force it, I let it glide at the angle that it's set at, and it seems to work pretty good for me. So, I'll do a couple extra swipes on each tooth than I normally would when I'm hand filing. But the main thing is, is you want to try and keep however many you do do even so that <laughs> do do <laughs> so that you do have a uh, an even cut. Now I did 10 on the last one, I just did 10 on this one and I'm looking at the cutting edge here and you can tell that this one got buckered up a little bit on the corner. I don't know if you can see that, it probably won't focus. But um, that one got a little bit messed up, so I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna take a few more off of this, and then I'm gonna try and compensate for the rest. Now you can use a 732nds file. Um, I prefer the 1364ths. This seems to work good for me. I don't have any more of these total files. These are like the, my favorite. They don't make them anymore. Total premium files.
It works a lot better when your chain's tight too. So like if you get into a situation where your chain's loose like mine is here and you're too lazy to tighten it up and you got your chain guide set up right at the right place, what you can do is take and pull down your chain and stick a stick in there or use your T-wrench and so that it keeps your chain taut. That way there you have a little bit more pressure on the chain when you're filing. Normally when I'm in a production setting, I'll just run through this really quick. It's gonna take me, you know, four or five minutes to sharpen both sides. But because I'm explaining it and taking time to stop and talk, it's taking a little bit longer. But now that I got one side complete, I'm gonna switch over to the other side. Now if you're running a uh, five degree slope or a 10 degree slope, you're gonna wanna make sure that you adjust, not just up here where my finger is, that's your, your angle. You wanna adjust your slope and make sure that that's correctly set for whichever way you have it. In this video, I am going zero degree slope because it's working good for me. <laughs> so I don't switch it, I'm just gonna switch my angle so that it's the same on this side. And I'm gonna to continue to sharpen. Now you're gonna notice that if you've been counting on the other side, I was taking off more. I wanna show you something. The reason being is when I, whoops, when I originally filed this, and I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna switch. I took too much off of this side than I did this side because I hit a rock. So this side's smaller. So in order for me to make sure that the chain continues to cut even, I have to compensate and take a little bit less off the right side than I did the left. But that's the gist of it, guys, the Grandberg filer joint. I love this thing. I think it's a must to have just if you're in the woods or you, you know, want to sharpen a saw. If, you know, you're, there's always going to be guys out there that say they hand file better than any type of a jig. And that might be true. But at the end of the day, this builds muscle memory for the angles that you should be filing at. And then you can adjust accordingly. So even if you're not dead set on using this every time, it's a good tool to have. And for $28 to $35, you can't complain. And I've had this for well over a year. And boys, let me tell you, I don't chop much because I've been running a machine. But I have put a lot of wood through this Grandberg. And it's been great. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. Right, guys, so just finished sharpening up that saw in that last part of the video. And uh, I notched this tree here. And I'll let you see just how sharp it is. Using just the Grandberg. I didn't touch my rakers. I didn't do anything special after I shut the camera off. Just share a figure out that's it. I'll let you watch. too much but you can see cut her down pretty quick not bad I don't really like this chain to be honest with you LG Oregon LG chain <coughs> the EXL chain is supposed to be good I'd like to try it but if any of you guys want to send me one let me know <laughs> back to it talk to you guys later